Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Dust and the Lysium Tale. I'm Zach, and we are in the underground caverns, and we just saw a small turtle-like child that we're now chasing because he might have all the answers we're looking for. So let's go. Oh yeah, I leveled up. Let's get my attack up more, because I need to take off more damage with these guys. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yay, more goodies and a new pendant. Yay. Well, the blacksmith. Oh, I, did, I have to go. I forgot to get that receiver so I could craft items over the transmission internet thing. Shit. I'm guessing I went the wrong way. I have to go back up and get across. There we go. I can kill them much easier now with my increased attack. Yeah, I guess I gotta go this way. Yep, here we go. Pay for poisoning me, you son of a bitch. Oh, there he is again. Wait. And he runs off again. Great. Let's follow him. Looks like we can go up. I'd rather go up than down. Save point. I sure do love save points. Oh shit! I need the uh, climbing ability to go up there. Doesn't mean I can't go this way.
wonder where I'm going. I think I'm supposed to go down more, but eh, who knows. This place is huge anyways. <laughs> Good job killing your own guy. Ooh, got him. Oh, God, these guys. Ow, shit. They fucking one hit me. Got him. And, of course, Fidget is silenced. It's great. Oh, no, I think I'm going the right way. I see the flag over there. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Damage is done to them by fire. If I switch back over to my uh, my basic attack. Hey, hey, save again. Sure do love saving. Oh, there he is again for the third time. No, go away! He's dropping things. There he goes. Forget him. Take a look around. There's something horribly wrong with these mushrooms. These aren't mushrooms, Fidget. They are called bubble sprouts, and it would be wise for us to tread lightly around them. Wonderful. <laughs> oh yeah, we have to like make sure when they turn red, get away. Ah! <laughs> Just keep moving. Oh, that one shot before I even... Oh shit. <laughs> Ah! That hurt. But I am poisoned, and that's a bit of a problem. There we go. That's better. Ooh, another save point. Yay, we almost draw a goal. Oh, this one looks pretty nasty. There he is! Look, he's in trouble! Ah! Leave me alone! Picking on little ones, huh? You will most definitely regret meeting me. Keep wary of the bubble sprouts, Dust. Oh god, there's two of them. Oh no! The wall chicken will save me! Son of a bitch. Got him. Done. Level up. And I'm poisoned again. Great. And he's off again. This this is great. I love I'm loving this. And there he goes again. You're welcome, kid. Come now, Dust. He's obviously terrified. Let's go find him. And maybe. <laughs> Ah, the next village in the game. With sheep. Mud pot. Oh, what a lovely name for a lovely village. I didn't think those monsters were smart enough to build a fence. I'm certain they didn't. Let's hop on over. Oh, yeah, I can level up again. I forgot. Let's get my health up again. Oh, 
father's done gonna have himself a heart attack after he hears about this. I'm sorry, Mama. Goodness, what would I do if you'd gotten yourself hurt? Ah, Mama, look! Those things must have followed me! How'd they jump my fence? Crafty vermin, those surface dwellers! She does see that I can fly, right? I'll be sure to tell her, Fidget. I'm sure that'll clear things right up. <laughs> You beast! I got this here spoon and I ain't afraid to use it! We aren't here for trouble, ma'am. In fact, we just saved your son. Huh? What are they talking about, Bobo? Um, well, they have been following me for a while. What? How far out did you go? I may just save the spoon for you. Uh, I'm sorry. We just came down from the surface to... Do I look like some country bumpkin to you? Of course you're from the surface. I think I'd remember seeing a talking, flying weasel cat thing down here. I think we got off on the wrong foot here. My name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Some creatures attacked a village above these caves. Attacked the surface village, you say? Well, if that don't beat all, we underground folk tend to keep to ourselves. I'm sorry to hear that. Actually, what I'm saying is... We got enough problems of our own without you surface folk bringing all that nonsense down here. Come on, Dust. We're obviously not wanted here. Wait! That's enough, Bopo! Mama, I've seen them fight! They even got themselves a talking sword! Young man, I don't care if their sword spouts rainbows and bowls of delicious baked beans. I don't want their help! Stop saying that! Pa's gonna die if we don't do something! Die? What's going on? Well, our healing wells have gone and run dry. And my pa's done gotten real sick. I hate saying it, but it's true. See these mud pots lying around? Normally they're bubbling to the brim with mineral water. But just a few weeks ago, they dried up to nothing. But that still don't excuse you from putting yourself in danger like that! Mama! I wonder if those monster attacks on the surface could be related to your wells drying up. I wouldn't be at all surprised. It's been a couple weeks since the water dried up, but every creature here is feeling the effects. Mama, maybe these two can go talk to the lady. The lady? Oh, she's a sweet old soul. Lives deep in the caves, makes the waters flow. She doesn't show herself around here too often. In that case, I'll go speak with this lady and see why she stops the flow of water. You do that? This can't all just be a coincidence. Well then, I had you folks pegged all wrong. Um, thanks? So, you're heading down to talk to the lady now? We'll do our best, Bopo. You got my word. Okay, that's enough for today, guys. We come back, we're gonna go find this lady and solve the water crisis. So I'll see you guys real soon.